Well, here it is. Patriot campers have done it again. The Mega 6x6. Six six. Took a standard 79 and did what no one's ever done. With the six-wheel drive kit and the big tyres, we knew we were going to need some serious power. So we took it out to GSL and the boys went to town. Big turbo, twin-stack four-inch exhaust. We've gone away from the typical matte black Patriot campers theme. For this one, we wanted something different. So we started with a full respray in a custom China grey. Nothing standard was ever going to suit, so we worked with TJM Custom Bar Work to accommodate the wider track. I've been working with J-Max for about 12 months on doing something completely different with the 79. Cut a brand new car in half and welded on a new chassis. Something else different that no one's done before, I thought the 6x6 needed a set of portal axles. So I hooked up with the boys for Mark's four-wheel drive. We've got all the extra diff clearance and the reduction gears to run the 37s. We've already taken it this far, and the 79s, they don't stop with four wheels. So I engaged the boys from WP Pro. They hooked us up with a set of six pot calipers and 330 mil rotors. The whole setup's riding on air, ECU controlled from Airbag Man, custom matched TJM monotube remote reservoir shocks. And the boys have given me three levels of ride height. Go from four to six to eight inches of lift. This truck's got the sexiest rear end on the road. We've got twin 37s up on the deck, mounted race truck style to the Patriot Mini Canopy. The vision for a project like this doesn't come together overnight. So I put Jack to work and let him do what he does best. This project was all consuming. We took the Super Tour tray, redesigned it with a new look, and then custom sheet metal front flares for the wider track. Adding to the custom sheet metal, we did fuel tanks with Brown Davis, and custom mounts for the Rhino Rack platform. And integrating into that platform, and the front bar, we've put in a full suite of X-ray lights. We work with the team at ROH, who custom built us a one-off set of 18 by 9 inch vapors. We wrap them in 37 by 13 and a half inch Mickey Thompson MTZs. Now the 79 series is definitely no luxury truck. We replace the factory front seats with something a bit more comfortable. And then the team at Trimworks wrapped everything they could in black leather, black suede and yellow stitching. The amount of electronics that we fitted into this rig and just the cabling alone was something reminiscent of a Boeing aircraft. The standard stereo went in the bin and we got the full suite from Alpine. It definitely wouldn't be a Patriot Super Tourer without front and rear torque winches. And for this truck here, to keep the front clean, we mounted the GME whip on the headboard of the tray. Now when I delivered all of the Red Arc boxes out into the factory, I definitely saw a few of the boys get nervous. We turned this thing into a rolling power plant. Custom sheet metal installation to hide all the gear behind the seats and the Revolution lithium batteries under the tray. Now we're getting pretty well known for our toys and when I saw that big empty space up on the deck, I made a phone call to Polaris and they hooked me up with a brand new Scrambler 1000. Working with the best tradesmen in the industry, my team's killed it. And we've reset the standard for Australian off-roading. And we handpicked the best suppliers who are at the top of their game to make this monster build happen. Now the Mega Tour is complete, we've already got the next build planned. But first, we need to get this engineered and complied for Australian roads. Like the black truck, this beast hasn't been built just for show. And we're going to prove what it can do on season two of Patriot Games. <laughs>